going on guys welcome back to video number 25 and the first thing I want to do in this video is go ahead and give our if statement that includes the die for our see that this variable we created up here to uh, all this stuff first third step to perform a database query I want to go ahead and take this if statement and I want to go ahead and drop it down here just so this will do the same thing I want to do this in the last video but I just kind of spaced out Okay, but we need to change the variable to what we named it, and we named it page set. Okay, so I can save that. Hopefully this will look the exact same. Good. Okay, so if you see this right here, the if, if this doesn't set to this, then kill the connection. Or kill, yeah, kill the connection and uh, kill the query. Unable to connect to database. So this looks like a reoccurring theme. So this would be perfect for us to create a function for. So let's go ahead and copy and paste either one of these. We can take this one, or we can go ahead and take this one. And let's find our includes folder. And functions, okay. And we haven't done anything with this yet. Okay, so I'm gonna make a comment. This is for basic functions. Let's create a function. Okay, so we'll name this function confirm query. And let's give it parentheses. And let's give it open braces. And let's go ahead and call this variable I don't know, result, or result set, how's that, okay. So let's go ahead and paste in our if statement, and let's look at this, we've got one open brace, two open brace, we got this close out, and this will close out, okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and just change the variable to result, result underscore set okay so we got a function result underscore set so all we need to call right now back to our content.php is just this part which is a lot easier to understand because a lot more people I mean if you give this to a colleague or a coworker they're going to be looking at your content.php page more than your functions.php page, and there's going to be a lot less things. So it's going to be easier to navigate through your code. Okay, so let's save this, and let's close this out, and let's go back to our content.php page. So now, instead of having all this stuff right here, let's just go ahead and add our function. You can either type function. You don't have to. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. And what do we call it? Subject underscore set. And again down here. Okay, let's get this out of here. And uh, what do we call it? Confirm underscore query. And what's the variable we're talking to this time? Page underscore set. Okay, let's reload it. Unable to connect. Let's pause the video. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had the variables set to just different variables. So for our variable right here where we connect our query, all this MySQL up here to our connection, it's got to be the same thing as our function that just we, that we just created. So info underscore set, as well as our function we created called confirm underscore query with inf info underscore set. And then down here again, where we, did, where we called the same function, we this variable is called page underscore set. And right here, we need to go ahead and call it the exact same things. If these two are differently, it's going to spit out whatever we have what what was our string like unable to connect or something so yeah make sure that these are both the same things and these two variables are both the same thing spelled correctly all right guys good luck with this and i'll see you guys in the next video